Hello, hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I'm working on the uh, well, oh, I see something here that I need to get that contour, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm working on um, sanding, uh, block sanding, and uh, and you know, I'm not saying that it's really tough, it's not tough, but. Uh, I need to use guide coat because that's it's gonna guide you. Uh, it's gonna guide you. Look at that, man! I thought it was dry. Look. So now I got two pinholes there that I got to take care of. But anyways, it it happens. Uh, so um, I got the fenders done. So now we just got to sand them down. So, and they they look pretty good. Uh, they don't look uh, bad, but they, you can tell there's some stuff, blemishes and stuff that needs to be taken care of. Uh, like this one I was looking at, this contour here says kind of has like a crease and it's supposed to be smooth, even though this one right here is the original fender. That one is not, well, it's an original fender, but it's not a uh, early fender. This is an early fender. It's uh, uh, it's it's got the uh, this thing right here. This hump is more pronounced. So, but anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and sand them and, and get them, you know, as smooth as, as smooth as I can. Uh, one thing, the deck lid looks really good. It looks really good, and. I'm proud of that because I, I, you know, I I did this right here. I did it uh, completely. I it was all dented. It had half an inch of bondo. I don't know if you go back to a video that I did on this. I took I took all the bondo off, and this thing was this thick. Like all this was like that thick and it was because it had somebody hit it right here and crushed it and then they didn't they should have taken the inner structure and it should have fixed it but they didn't they just bonded it and then to fix this they had to bondle everything they did a good job because it looked good but but uh it weighed like like a ton anyway so so i got all the accessories that Everything is uh, taken care of. And everything is <laughs> is stuck to the uh, cardboard, but but everything everything is good to go. And I'm gonna show you the car. Let's uh, let's go and see the car because I'm excited. Now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna walk around the car. I'm gonna pull it out, and I still need to do a 320. Let me put this on the stand. I don't want to make this video too long because I'm just probably doing a little update so i'm gonna pull this car out and i'll put it out out in the in the sun you the car because I'm very proud of this all right so here it is uh, out in the sun and it's uh it's looking really good uh, I did a uh, uh, 220 I did 220 on on it and and then I came back with uh, some primer after, uh, you know, if I went in too deep, I went with some primer and reprime, and uh, I got to hit those spots. And but it's, it, it looks it looks really good. Uh, this side it's uh, really nice. And if you remember, this is 
like I spoke, this is the door that I replaced the skin on it. And, and it's, it's looking really good. Really good. Oh, it's nice and sunny, but uh, uh, this morning was 40 degrees. So it was really cold. Uh, and uh, I guess winter's coming fast and furious. Um, if you look at the, uh, uh, we got a little bit of, you know, probably there's a pinhole there and I just, that's why I got it out in the sun and then I gotta, I gotta wipe it down so I can see what needs to, to have a little bit of, uh, of, uh, putty and uh, I'll take all, I'll get all the, if there's any pinholes, anything that is, uh, left behind, it shouldn't, but there's always something. There's always something, you know, uh, you know, stuff is not perfect. One thing that I learned, uh, I got a, a tip, a 1.8 tip on my, on, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the spray gun. And I probably got to use a, a 2.0 for this. So, uh, because I'm just having a hard time getting getting it to flow. Even though I'm reducing it and all this stuff, you know, it takes a little while to get it to flow. So, um, so but anyways, uh, it flew, it flow it flowed pretty good, and uh, it's looking okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a guy coat complete car guy coat on uh, the uh, the whole car, and I'm gonna do a 320 or a 400, whatever I got uh available i think i got some 400 available so i'm gonna do i'm gonna block the 400 just just to get the guy coat off and what does that mean but what, what that means is i'm trying uh what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get the scratches of the two uh of the 240 all the scratches that you leave behind i try I'm, i have to try to get them out and that's the way you get out the thinner uh the uh, sandpaper the the less scratches you're gonna have so that's uh that's the goal so i'm gonna dry guy coat everything and i'm a i'm gonna start sanding it with uh 320 and or 400 i'm sorry i got 400 there and uh, we're gonna go from there hopefully uh we get a uh we get we get a a better finish because i can see it's good but it needs more and it's cold it feels cold that's why i got the car outside it's cold so anyway so and then this right here i'm gonna do a uh 150 uh 150 right quick and then we're gonna go move to a 220 and uh same with the uh with the fenders and stuff so uh that's uh that's the plan so and I'm gonna get that done. I'm finna finalize the video and show you guys uh, what I've I've done. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. All right, folks, uh, so that's uh, pretty much what I have to do in the whole entire car. Uh, yeah, it takes a little while, but uh, all I'm trying to do is uh, with that 400 grit, right? That's 400 grit. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get all, all the uh, black spots from the guy coat. So... And I still have just a, a bit left, but you got to understand that you touch it somewhere and you, then you touch it with your hands. Uh, try to stay within the uh, blocks, the hard blocks. But like I said before, uh, I'm just uh, I'm just going to take it to here, uh, all, all around it where you see uh, where the black is. And then... And then I'm uh, 
that's it. I'm not doing anything else. Uh, I think that's going to be enough. And I, I think me personally, that's going to be enough for the car. Oh. And uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look really good. Full on the grit. It's a uh, really fine grit. So it's really hard to see imperfections uh, at 400. And, uh, and so so uh we'll see and then if i got like a uh, low spots and i see there's a little low spot right there you see it so and uh it took some of the of the sandpaper so i'm gonna put a little more guide coat and i'm gonna go with the block and hopefully if not i gotta come back and put more uh um more uh primer on it and try to ensure that it's gone but anyways i'm not going to bore you with all this stuff so i'm going to do the entire car and uh then i'm gonna move to the uh the fenders and stuff so so i'll see you later